in the incumbent pro fracking MP at the time. Mike was only happy to support the local anti-fracking group's recent demonstration outside the local INEOS plant to say no to fracking and the injun injunctions that are held against local campaigners. Mike's constituency includes the marshes near Frodsham, an area where, if this pro-fracking government have their way, there are big plans for test drilling and fracking. Please welcome Mike Amesbury. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, and first of all, thank you very much for coming. I mean, the turnout today shows just how united this community is against fracking. So, thank you very much. And of course, this has been a long fight, and the fight will continue until they do frack off. So, in, in June, we Vale, for the first time in seven years, elected a Labour MP, and that Labour MP happens to be me. And part of the reason that they elected me and gave my comrades such as Chris, Chris Matheson a wonderful majority of nearly 10,000 and the wonderful MP Justin Madders with an increased majority is because of you people here in our communities and, and beyond because we sent a message to the Tory fox hunting frackers that enough is enough we're going to send you a signal and we're going to basically prove the pundits wrong and have a bit of people power. So, you know, we're on the cusp, I think, of changing this current unwanted, chaotic government. But we've got fights in the community to focus around on this fight against fracking. We're going to basically take to the wall until we're defeated. The, the companies such as Ineos and iGas with an outdated, unwanted industry. As Becky said, our manifesto is pretty crystal clear. Our policy is no to fracking and yes to clean green energy. And today is proof that from Jeremy to the Shadow Cabinet to local Labour MPs, Labour is against fracking. No ifs, no buts and maybes. And what a contrast that is with the Tories who every week are showing that they're the pro-fracking party from top to bottom. At the top, we've got Theresa May telling Parliament that she's got even more plans to bring forward fracking legislation. At the bottom, we've got local councillors wriggling, wriggling the way, trying to, against their pro-fracking stance with a claim of a costly and unwanted local referendum. We've had plenty of referendums, haven't we, against fracking? The recent general election, I know in my own community, uh, in, in Frodsham and Hellsby, we had a, a local referendum where some 80% are against, are against fracking, and now we have local councillors trying to wriggle the way out of it. And yet, we know local councillors such as Dawson, who's on record on YouTube saying that fracking was welcome here. It's not welcome here, is it? Not welcome here. Yeah. Exactly. The Tory party of fracking, of fracking written right through them like a stick of rock. The, the pro-fracking, pro so I best get that right, pro-fracking, pro-fox hunting Tory party. <laughs> Needs to be told to frack off. <laughs> Friend, friends, I'm afraid they haven't done so yet, but we, we're going to ensure that they do. Yeah. Last month, at Prime Minister's questions, Theresa May let the cat out of the bag. 
by saying the government will bring forward more proposals on fracking to the House of Commons. So I asked ministers what these plans were and what discussions they've had about them. The Energy Department simply said that they have regular discussions with the Prime Minister. The local, the local government department, on the other hand, said they needed more time to get an answer to me. I mean, you can't really blame them, uh, blame the departments in Theresa May's government for wanting to forget what they've been up to. But we should be concerned about our energy future and what is happening behind closed doors in Downing Street and not. They should be having conversations with us the communities and not behind closed doors in Downing Street. But of course, we do know the reasons that the Tories are having these discussions in secret. They dare have them in communities like ours, but they, they know what the response would be, a response such as today, which is, frack off, on your way. <laughs> The fracking lobby try and tell us that fracking is safe, but we just don't believe them. I mean, these are the same people, such as Michael Gove, that told us we're going to get an extra £350 million per week if people vote for Brexit. You know, and that's not going to happen, is it? No. And the evidence is out there, it's clear. It is dangerous to the environment. It does contaminate our water. It, it does create instability in, in, ge in geology. It is not the future. And it's something that we will campaign on again and again and again until they've gone. So together, Labour, Greens and other political parties and non-political parties and real people will tell them where to go. We will take our fight in Parliament as MPs, but very importantly, we've got to do this in the community. So I'm honoured to fight with you and my other comrades, and thank you very much for listening to me today. Thanks, Mike. We were going to do you for littering, but you picked it up now.